My name is Rafael Ocasio, and until three, four weeks ago, I was a Spanish professor. I am recently um, retired. My procedure was um, aqua ablation, and um, I came to know the procedure through Dr. Kemper. It was very mild not being able to um, urinate. Uh, PSA um, levels kind of high, and I thought I could um, keep um, my symptoms under control using medication. When I started taking the, the medication, um, it did control the frequency of um, feeling that you needed to urinate, even though you knew that there was very little because you had already done it. Um, the nights, the going um, to the bathroom, um, two, three, escalated to, to the point that I was not sleeping very well. So aquablation is a procedure for the treatment of an enlarged prostate, BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Uh, typical symptoms are an enlar- uh, of an enlarged prostate are uh, weak stream, incomplete feeling of incomplete bladder emptying, uh, needing to go to the bathroom a whole lot more, not quite making it to the bathroom in time. Uh, prolonged disease can be associated with bladder stones, with kidney disease. Um, and sometimes people have enough problems where they can't go to the bathroom at all and need a catheter put in. Is there a bathroom nearby? Or, you know, when you when you go to a concert and you're sitting in the middle of, the, of a long uh, um, a series of... Um, seats, you know, the last thing you want is just to stand up in the middle of it and um, deal with um, angry people, not liking that they have to let you go. Um, Flying um, long distances, um, I had um, decided that I did not like um, um, window seats anymore, although I love window seats, so so, um, now I don't have to worry about having to have that aisle seat next to or very near um, uh, a bathroom. Aquablation is a procedure to open up the prostate and to create a channel to allow people to uh, urinate freely. So we go in through the penis with a robotic wand that has a high-pressure water jet associated with it. We also do real-time ultrasound to measure the prostate directly during the procedure, and the high pressure water jet is able to shave out unwanted prostate tissue and open up a channel while precisely sparing the ejaculatory ducts, the bladder neck and other anatomy to allow maintenance of good function. So I was very excited to know that it was a um, non-chirurgical procedure. I had known about it um, several years before that. My big concern and now, you know, in hindsight, was really a very stupid um, concern was that um, after the procedure, um, I knew I had to wear a catheter for one or two days. And believe me, um, it's not a big deal. Typically, most patients will spend one night in the hospital, although some patients may be able to go home the same day. Typically, people will have a catheter in for about three days after the procedure, and then the catheter will be removed. It's about a two to four week recovery period where people have some urgency, some frequency, some burning of of urination. That gets better over that period of time. People continue to have their symptoms improve up to about three months after the procedure and can typically expect about a 75% improvement in symptoms. Aquablation is a durable procedure. It should last uh, at five years. About 95% of people should still be doing awesome. About 5% of people may need something else done because the prostate continues to grow over everyone's entire life. I can tell you that I have had many doctors and Dr. Kemper is on top of um, my 5% um, doctors. Um, He really knows how to um, explain things and he's a very caring person. I mean, he, he really... He really means um, what 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 he says. You know, um, if you are considering doing this procedure, my best advice to you is consider it consider it seriously. Um, I wish I had done this two three years ago um, when Dr. Kemper um, 
suggested it. And um, I have had my procedure, the aquablation procedure done, um, what is it, um, a year now. And I can tell you my life is completely different.